Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Factorio. I've got a bit of a cold, so if I sound especially deep and gravelly, now you know why. But I'm cracking on anyway because Factorio is bay. So what I want to do today is get green science set up. I'm probably not green science, green chips. I'm probably going to set them up about here. And then I'll chuck science below and labs, hopefully. We'll see how far we get. So really, the thing to do with, with science, I find green science, uh, green science, green chips is... They're, they're so they're so much in demand that you need a lot of them. And I'm going to make sure I've got a bit of space. You just need so many. It's kind of ridiculous, in fact. Um, I'm going to go with a pretty simple and straightforward kind of build. Um, the style that a lot of people use. And I might try and blueprint it. So it's going to be um, copper wire coming in here. Uh, then it's going to be converted to, or copper, then it's going to be converted to wire. And then wire gets made very, very fast. So we're going to push the wire down into these two factories. They're going to make chips and they need uh, some iron plate. And then the chips are going to be dumped off. Uh, so we're going to bring an iron plate about here. And they're going to be dumped off uh, and put into like a central uh, big stack of outbound uh, belt that goes this way. And we're going to do it from the side like this and like this because and we'll, we'll, we'll sort it all out soon. And the reason we're doing that is you make so many chips that um, so quickly that you generally want to make sure that you can uh, output rapidly. And I think actually I'll do that. It's a bit easier to handle. So something like this is how we'll build it. I'm just going to try and lay out like a tidy and consistent approach to my poles and things. I think that will work just fine. And so let's start laying out the belt and we'll finagle the output stuff in a second. So this is going to have to go like this. What am I? Oh God, tiny pirate. What is that? No, it needs to be like that to that and that to that and i found that um you can end up consuming pretty much your entire green uh, chips with just your science builds so i always I'm, I'm quite a fan of building a whole second lot of um i'm just going to do that i'm quite a fan of building a whole second lot i'm just going to balance the belt somewhat like that's a fairly terrible way of balancing it but i think it does the trick um you can pretty much consume all of the chips just in your science builds. So I often, I've started to think about doing a whole second, um, like a whole second set of uh, science or chips on the other side of the belt. So on the other side of the whole bus. So I, I would eventually probably expand uh, iron and copper production so we have some down here and put a whole extra four belts of green chips. I think that's a good idea, but we'll see how that goes. I've given myself enough space to be able to pull that off, I believe. Um, the first thing where we do need to get the old bus coming down here. And I actually wouldn't even object to just sucking in the whole two uh, two belts like that. But we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens. It's not going to be a big deal for now, but it does, it does often seem like a good idea just because of how much gets consumed. So we'll take this off uh, like this. And what I will do is chuck an underground like this and then an underground like this. I suspect that's how I will want to do it. Um, and then these will come down like this. Um, and we'll, we'll just like run like some kind of combiny splittery thing like that. So, so far so extremely normal really i mean this is uh pretty standard stuff it should allow quite high throughput of green chips which is what i'm most worried about but for now all i want to do is just hit the kind of major the major goals not so much worry about the the lesser goals of uh of a particularly high throughput we're just on the major goals of getting some chips out into the wild so i uh, will pop you there and you there? You gonna start making me some green chips? Good. And on the output, I've just put things where I want them, which is a bit silly of me. So we'll do it like that. 
and likewise there, which is again, and that. Silly, tiny pirate, think ahead. Planning is what we're all about here. So I'll just put a little light in there. And I need some more of those, so give me... Oh, we better pick some of this junk up. Maybe grab some copper. A bit more of this junk. And we'll need a bit more of that. So we'll take the belt out this way, and two full belts would be ideal. I always find a bit of oddness trying to balance these two belts as they leave. I don't really have the perfect answer. It's just... It's just a challenge, I find, so... Um, to there, that to there, just keep going across the whole of the map, which I need a lot more of these on. Um, and down here we're going to need some more factories, so let's crack on with those. Where are my factories? There you are. So we want one there, one there, and one, uh, what are we going for, like... That I think we did. Yeah, just nice to have them nicely neatly mirrored like that um, Like that There to there. Oh, come over there to there um, Copy those settings with the old shift right click shift left click and power poles one two three and four and we'll bring in some copper as well and that's good. We're not going to bump too much into our planned drone port, which is very helpful. So, copper, you will have to come down a bit more. Oh, gears and everything else will have to come down. So that's going to be a fun job to figure out. Get all this stuff sorted. So much belt required. So, let's cross this stream over first. Where are we? Going that way to that way. That way to the, ugh. there, there to there to there, and it's pretty much where we want to go. So I'm just gonna zip, 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 move my cursor. Why well, it feels a bit? Why is that seeming a bit spread out? Oh, we just gave ourselves a little bit of extra space. I'm actually inclined to not give us quite so much space because, um. What I have been doing in other builds is giving myself a lot of fluids down the bus. And that's much easier to run if they're closer to the start. Or close to the center, at least. You know, run oil. I've, I've been playing a little bit of multiplayer, and I'll probably try and convince some friends to actually play multiplayer on a stream or something with me. But what we did in that one was we ended up setting up um, all the plastic production on the side of the bus, because... It just felt like a more sensible thing to do. What are these waiting on? Is there not enough? I feel like maybe we need another factory here because I'm seeing red on the buffer and I don't like seeing that on, on, the, on the sort of blockage indicator. It's pretty easy to, to stick in another factory so Maybe I just will try that and see if they're happier that way before we blueprint this. I think you can get away just fine with a 2 to 1 ratio, but I don't know. Let's uh, let's try a bit more hardcore um, solutions here and uh, see if this will... No, not that. See if this will do the trick. Yoinky doinky. Um... That seems to be a little less... Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. I think we'll just use that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Seems a little less uh, trouble, troublingly slow. And it's very easy to blueprint. Doesn't really cost as much, so no biggie. Um, that way, that way. And... Yes, I mean, there's there are going to be optimal... Uh, and, and most efficient approaches. And approaches you should consider when you're planning to use beacons. Which is a... A late game thing to provide even further enhancement but i'm not especially worried about that i don't want to get too optimal prettiness still matters most most of all uh, so here comes the copper that's all happy this will never quite produce uh like a neatly balanced oh i suppose it will sometimes some of these will be put down so, why aren't you making stuff yet? Oh, because you guys don't know what to make. 
That's fine. Chunker, 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 chunker. Do we actually need, like, more? Would that be helped by having more? I don't think so, especially not with the stack bonuses and what have you that will come. So I think that's just fine. So yeah, we are getting two belts now, slowly loaded. So now's the time just to copy the old blueprint. Um, which I think I need to run to... Like, about there, I suspect. But it's not massively problematic. Green chips. Green chips. We'll change these. Just save that. You always remember to click that button. Change that for... Where are you? Oh, there you are. And hit OK. So... Oh, tiny pirate. You've kind of, Oh, no, that, that actually... Yeah, that works. I've, I've not been completely insane, so that's good. Now I can just match up the blue crossing over point. All right, I don't think I need to build all of these yet, entirely. But it's nice to know they're here. Maybe I'll just do one more set. And for that I'm going to need a bunch of metal, which is what I always, always, always never carry enough of. So it's time to just drain this... Maybe I'll drain a bunch of gears as well, because they're always used. Uh, one, two, three, four. And now, I love blueprints. Oh, shivers. I love blueprints because, as, as I was going to say, they just copy all the settings over. Unless you misclick, in which case you're a very, a very silly person. Um, da, 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 like that. Queue up a bunch of these and get making. And yeah, I think this is going to work very well. And the good thing is that when we do get beacons, there's plenty of room to fit the beacons in, which is quite important to make sure everything works well. And like that. And it's all very neatly laid out for us, which I do appreciate. Thank you, game. I think blueprints are probably one of the most interesting ideas from the developers. And I kind of wish more games had them. And I'd be interested in your thoughts. What games do you think would benefit from blueprints? I almost think games like Minecraft would. I'm not a big Minecraft player, but I'm sure there's some conditions where it would. But uh, anything that has a build component, I think, could be benefited from in that regard. And you guys as well, you need these. And take like that, and on the way out like that. I like the symmetry of this build. I like it more than the three to one. This is quite nice. And I think I've just done two all the way. I'm going to do two all the way just because, like, that's even, right? And even evenness matters, as I'm sure you'll agree. Put a couple of lights in. And this stuff just needs copper. And it's good to go. And I think that will be more than, more than enough chips to get things started. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay, that is that is actually pretty fantastic, if I don't say so myself. So we will bring down these four belts and balance them up a little bit. Not not perhaps the most efficiently brought down and balanced, but we'll do that. And then I think what we're going to do, so I'll probably do some of that off, off here. We're going to set up our red and green science. That's a pretty pretty straightforward thing to do. And I'm really fond of the of this sort of insertion approach that I've seen uh, people use where they have all the underground belts, lined up labs. It's pretty cool. So we're going to build that as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of that off the, off, off the air. And uh, I hope I'll catch you back shortly. Oh no, before we could get anywhere. Ah, there's biters in our, like, in our dive. Oh man, look at these guys. Oh, they've ruined so much stuff. All right, blooming biters. So it's clearly time to put down a turret. What are they wiped out? Two miners and some other junk. Um, I do, in theory, have turrets, so it's definitely time, obviously, I don't see them on the map. I don't know where they came from over this way, so it's clearly time to put a couple of turrets down, which I'm going to do before we get on with uh, producing our uh, belt and science. But I haven't got the best ammunition in these things, but it'll just have to do, and it should be okay at this phase to hold everything off. Maybe I'll put another minor array up here as well. So I'm going to crack on with that, fix up some of these things, and uh, and then hopefully we'll be ready to start building some science. Good times. Right, well I think I'm going to run the red science along here because uh, I'll give a bit of space to this port, which is a good idea in general. And uh, I'm actually kind of lucky that I didn't wipe it out when I built down here, so that's fine. There's a bit more room I think below before the next one. 
but I think we will run it here. And what we need for red science is gears copper. So we're going to have a split belt and it's going to pop out like this. And uh, then we're going to line things up like, like so. And we're going to have one belt come in from the top and this belt come in from there and sort of sideload this stuff in. And then over here, we will uh, call this belt in from, from this side like this and uh, we need actually a little bit more um, like that because we're missing two belts for that one and we haven't filled them yet and we'll just do it very simply like that and then voila copper and gears filling up belts cool so now we want a bunch of factories and I'm, I'm gonna go with 10 that produces that means we get like uh, two science a second which I think is nice to put it put it frankly it's just a nice nice round number um, and I think we should be able to do more than enough sciencing with that with that number of red science coming out um, and hopefully I just get all these in the correct way and like that and then we should just be able to power them like this all the way along and then give them their recipes and they will be a happy little science labs uh, run, 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 so it's shift, right click, shift, left click. And now what I'm going to do is this really cute kind of belt loading thingy I saw for a science lab, which I really like. So we're giving ourselves enough space, maybe a little bit more, maybe just a teensy bit more because some of the other science builds can get quite big. That seems fine. And then what we do is we put an underground in and then we put, where are my labs? A lab in. And if you notice, I actually have a bit of science in my inventory because I actually ended up accidentally not recording 10 minutes of this. So I am catching up or catching you guys up with where I was. So I thought you'd rather see it rather than see the end results. So I'm building it all over again for you. And then what we do is this. So we can have, actually you're going to have to be picked up. Just pop you down over here a little bit out of the way and give you some ammo. Cool. So then what we have is you see the, the science lab here will pick up off the belts and it'll put itself, put the, put the potions in its inventory. Then they get moved down the row. So it's not as fast and efficient as other designs. There are other designs which will you know, pick up science quicker, but I just like it because I think it's, and I'll put those in the wrong place because I just think it's cute and it's very scalable. So you can kind of throw on as many or as few uh, labs as you like and things just grow very naturally so I can put another one up here uh, that's probably feels about right for now six should oh, maybe I'll go for the full ten and that should be nice and neat and where are you labs put one here mm, I think maybe one more width over is a good idea yeah so we'll do that Get this one in here and then line all of these up, power them, and you should see the joy that is a fully functioning lab system that is cool. Well, I think it's cool. If you don't agree, I have no idea why you're watching because really, <laughs> this game is for really weird optimization nerds and design nerds. I don't know who else would be super into it. Um, Nice grid of power poles. That's another thing that wakes me up in the morning, feeling happy and excited about the world. And that's perfectly lined up as well. So, oh, here we go. Oh, phew, we survived, we survived. Okay, so now we choose, say we're gonna choose landfill. Um, as you see, the science labs just pick everything up and then chuck it in. Now they're waiting for green science. So we should probably get on and make some. Green science. Again, it's not too hard. So we need transporter belt and we're going to do this in a dedicated fashion. So we're going to have it's a half second gear plate for transporter belts. And these take up to six seconds. So that's like, it only needs one. So it can support one gear, one of one belt producer can support like 12 green lab producers. Then what we need for science is the yellow inserters and yellow inserters take three things. So that's why we need the better uh, factories will do that. And they take gears, iron and electric circuits. And again, they take half a second each and we can support 12 factories. I think 12 factories 
is probably fine. And they, they produce uh, so six seconds, 12 factories. I don't know how much that is. Lots. So that would be pretty fine. I am inclined to do like a little array. I'm going to do like a double, a double stack of belt and inserters being made here. Then they're going to pipe their produce down the middle. And then we're going to have on either side green producers. So that's going to be a pretty simple... I would like to think it's going to be a pretty simple build. Let's give ourselves a touch of space. And I'm going to have to move you down. And then we should be in a really good spot to produce just a ton of science for a really long time. And that would be... Yeah, I'll be quite pleased with that. Give you some ammo. So these guys will say are the belt producers. Where are you? Belt. And you will need like the gears and the and the stuff, right? And that's fine. So then what we want is the factories. No, we want no, we do want these ones. They're gonna be inserter factories. So let's give them a space. Like that seems probably fine. And you need gears, iron and plate or stuff. So what I'm inclined to do is to bring down um like this with like gears and iron how many of the you actually don't need that much so you know what the red the red arms are going to be just fine so we'll be able to go like red arms red arms um blue arms blue arms and that means bringing down or i think bringing down a bit of green but we might pull it straight off over here so if we come in over here like this I think this is quite a good way to design. Keep an eye on the ratios. It does make a difference. It's a real, I think it's a real bit of a pain, of a pain in the neck when you're dealing with oil. But um, this is for various reasons, which if you have played the game before, you'll understand. But this is uh, quite a good way to, to figure out how much and how fast things are going to need to be made. So we need to get these ingredients down. Um, and so what we want here is half a... Um, I'm just trying to think about how we can do this easily. What I will do, if we go like this, I can put this in and immediately get half a belt. What I then need to do is to load only the right side of this belt, which I'm thinking about how to do. Okay, so I think the easiest way to do that is just to do this little split. I could probably do this in more places if I remember. And now this little hook here will push gears in on the on this side, that one on that side. And this will just start to very happily load. And then we can just push things out like that. And some power poles and everything will be beautiful, I suspect. And just need to get some power in here, up to there. And yeah, they're making. So that's really good. And then all we have to do is throw half down here, half down here, and about the middle, just chuck them all out again. Are you guys cogitating? Oh, you need, these guys need a bit of um, uh, green circuits. So green circuits, that's uh, clearly the next thing to bring in. And uh, they will give us everything we need to have this green science system running beautifully. And we've even got a little teensy bit of room in the middle if everything works out or goes badly for some reason if we don't have enough of something. So I'm pretty confident with this whole array. One, two, there, to there. And uh, where are we looking at now? Okay. And over to here. Which means I've got to bring down a lot of green circuit on, on various belts. But that should be quite easy. I can tidy it up later. This will do for now. There you go. So come in here. These guys pipe, pipe, pipe. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Put in some lights because we're not heathens. We believe in seeing our work. Um, yeah, pop a light there, pop a light there. Sort out the power poles later. And now all we will need to do is uh, sort out these arrays of one, two, three probably go for maybe uh, eight or nine or ten or maybe even a few more than that and these guys will pick green science like this 
and we'll pop it out. I might give them a bit more. Oh, should I give them their own output belts? It's probably not such a silly idea. And they just do this. Uh, I'll join them together so they're easy to power. And then output like that. I think we'll do something like that. Maybe we'll join the outputs at some other spot. Or maybe we'll run it up the middle. I haven't quite decided on perhaps the ideal way for that. And then once this is done, they'll just pop out. It's going to be brilliant. We'll just fix it up and give it a good, give it a good workout. Right. Well, I'm pretty happy with this layout. I just uh, crunched these down a little. So if I absolutely need to, I can fit one more factory in above and below. But I think that's looking pretty fine. And that's 12, 12 factories making uh, green science, which is two a second. I finally figured out. I think that will be plenty. And we're going to just bring it in. And we're going to join it up. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll join it up here with the red science in some fashion I haven't quite decided upon yet. So we'll first of all get these two belts together. Um... Uh, what should we do here um just do some kind of i might do something like like yeah we'll we'll do something like this when i use my brain and figure out what it is exactly that i want to do It'll be something like this. The belts are just going to have to get a bit unloaded first, so I shall stop messing around with them and making everything terrible there. And uh, we'll get it fixed up. So, like you like that, and you like that, and uh, and I think that will work as soon as I just clear vast numbers of these. Just pick it all up, and let's see if it all goes in nice and neat. And we're going to start researching landfill any second now, in theory. Uh, oh, we'll better pick up all the red that's sort of come through. Am I picking up some green yet? There we go. Okay, so reds are also banked up here. That's a lot of red signs I have to collect. And I think that's looking pretty good. So, wow. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about making any red signs for quite a while. That Wow, that is a lot. That is just vast quantities. That's okay, though. We'll pop all this in here. There's nothing wrong with having too much science lying around. It does make me think that maybe we can afford to put in a, a couple more of the old, uh, the old labs just to speed things along. And I think I'm going to need more of more defenses just yet. I think we'll be okay for now. So we'll just fit in. Oh, of course, put it in the wrong place. Three. Can I make some more? One, two, three. Yes, I can. So we'll do that. That's going to be lovely. Well, vast numbers of power bolts have now been created, uh, which means I get to put these in and then put everything in the right place. Can't believe it. <laughs> uh, Got to stop being so terrible at this game. So here we go. Pop those in there. I sort out these labs. Uh, see if I can maybe create some more, I think. Oh, only one. Fine. And uh, one, two, three. The next thing to choose is the next thing to research. Um... These steel furnaces, they furnace twice as fast. Oil processing, also not a bad idea. Engines, not a bad idea. Uh, I might start with a combinator. They're really fun to play with. We might start with that one. It's a simple one. And I'm going to pick up some copper so that we can make some more beautiful labs. Because really, that's a, that's a good thing. Well, I might as well just go straight up to the chip factory. Here we go. And that's probably just about it for the episode. So I think once we have, uh, well, that's that's a lot of labs. Once we've got a couple more laid out, everything's going to be working fantastically. And I shall put down one more of the old turrets and give it some ammo. There we go. So that's working very nice. Yeah, I think that's pretty excellent. I think that's probably enough for now. Thank you very much for watching and putting up with my disgusting cold. In the next episode, we're going to get on with more making things and stuff. It's going to be awesome. Until then, catch you soon. Goodbye.